title of my speech is Superhero in Disguise. Like all good superheroes, moms are willing to sacrifice everything for their families. My mom sacrificed a lot for my family, especially being an immigrant and having kids at a very young age. I'm going to talk about how my mom has three superpowers. The first superpower is the power of caring. The second superpower is the power of being supportive. And the last superpower is the being the, my best teacher. My mom's first superpower is caring. I can give countless reasons why my mom is the most caring person in the world, but I decided to pick the most memorable ones. I remember this distinct memory of my mom when I would wake up in the middle of the night crying from a bad dream. When my mom saw me, she knew exactly what to do to comfort me. She warmed up some cookies and milk and fed me a bedtime story until I fell asleep on her lap. Another way you can tell my mom is caring is she is the biggest animal lover I know. There was this one time when there was a street cat who got hit by a car. She stopped immediately and went to comfort and help the cat. But the damages to the cat was too extreme, so she would put the, she would put the cat in a blanket and stay with it in its dying moment. She told me that no one deserves to die alone and cold on the streets. Now that you know my mom's a caring person, let's talk about how she's very supportive too. My mom's next super, superhero power is being supportive. She will become your number one fan and the strictest coach you ever had. Growing up, I played for my high school lacrosse team. She will show up to every game and cheer the loudest and make sure I heard her in the stands. She would even show up to the practices and cheer me on. She would always tell me to work harder and keep my feet moving. Whenever I got hit in the game, I would, she would argue with the rest and medical staff to make sure I didn't have any broken bones or a concussion. Now to have a supporting, a supporting relationship with your mother meaning that you have to have a trusting relationship with her. This means I could come to her with any problem from relationship, from relationship advice to academics. Sometimes she would even be my personal therapist. I would tell her things that are going on in the stage of my life and what are my goals and expectations. She, re she would even help me set up small steps to work towards that goal and the consequences if I miss a step. She would recommend me what to do to find a stress outlet, like going to the gym or just sit peacefully for 10 minutes. Now that you know my mom is very supportive, let's finish off with how she's the best teacher I ever had. My mom's last superhero power is teaching. Now to clarify, I'm not talking about academics, but the teacher of life per se. Over the years, my mom has built, me, has built a strong world character of me. She told me what's right and what's wrong in the world. She said not to get influenced by your peers and to focus on your studies. But more importantly, she taught me self-care. She would always tell me to become a better person than you were yesterday. So every day I try to push myself harder and harder, like going to the gym, eating healthy, going to church more. She also inspires me to be a good Christian. She says to find strength and power from the Lord's name and to remind yourself that you, you are loved even on your darkest days. Now to sum up things, I, I hope I got my message across today. How my mom's superpowers, the power of care, the power of supportiveness, and the power of teaching, describes her to be one of the strongest women I know, my mom, Lillian Kumwell.